New Treasury contracts have revealed Rishi Sunak is spending £500,000 of taxpayers' cash on focus groups and polling, with some claiming he is trying to repair his image. Researchers have been hired to carry out two focus groups and one online poll each week until February 2023, taking the total costs over two years to more than £1.35 million according to Labour. The party's deputy leader Angela Rayner said the Chancellor had shifted from testing public opinion about the Covid pandemic to making spending a permanent fixture. The contracts were awarded after Mr Sunak told the British people he has no money to ease the cost of living crisis and that cutting their energy bills would be silly, Ms Rayner said. She added, the government apparently has half a million to spend on spin doctors while Jacob Rees-Mogg is threatening to axe thousands of civil service jobs in the name of cost saving. At the start of the pandemic, the Treasury justified their spending on focus groups and polls as an emergency measure to test the impact of different policy options. But now this is little more than a taxpayer-funded vanity exercise for a chancellor desperate to repair his image. The first contract, costing £81,600, was introduced after Covid struck in 2020, with the government saying its purpose was to inform immediate policy-making decisions and communications. Two more contracts worth £205,680 and £552,862 were given in August and December 2020 to test public opinion of the Treasury's response to the pandemic, but the new £500,000 poll with Delta poll makes no mention of the pandemic, as pointed out by Labour. The Treasury denied the spending is an attempt to improve the Chancellor's public image and suggested the cost might not reach the full £500,000. A spokesperson said, The Treasury conducts regular polling to help develop and measure the impact and understanding of its policies. All polling is subject to the usual tender process, ensuring the best value for taxpayers' money.